Issa Amro is a Palestinian affairs analyst and a human rights activist. He joins us now live from Hebron in the occupied West Bank. Issa, I wanted to ask you first about these detentions. It's estimated thousands of Palestinian workers have their Israeli permits revoked and are being detained in Israel. Do we know how many people there are and do we know what's happening to them and where they are? Uh, the Israeli military since October 7th uh, started a war on the Palestinian civilians in the West Bank. Uh, they are raiding Palestinian villages, Palestinian communities, Palestinian houses, and the Palestinians in the West Bank are uh, tortured, detained, kidnapped, uh, and they are targeting human rights defenders. They are targeting uh, journalists. Uh, many, many journalists uh, were uh, detained and arrested and kidnapped from their homes, even neutral journalists, they are kidnapped. And yesterday uh, in Hebron, they detained uh, and kidnapped two main journalists from uh, Hebron. So we are talking about thousands, 2,000 plus uh, Palestinians being detained in a very bad uh, conditions. Me personally, as a human rights defender, October 7th, I was detained and tortured for 10 hours continuously. And this is the phenomenon now, that the Israeli soldiers detain Palestinians, beat them up, torture them, uh, take videos uh, of uh, soldiers dehumanizing the detainees and uh, really making their life uh, horrible and even publish the videos in, in Instagram. And there is a TikTok challenge between Israelis and between the soldiers and Israeli settlers in an army uniform about dehumanizing Palestinians, shooting Palestinians, raiding Palestinian uh, houses. So in the West Bank, there is a real war on the Palestinian civilians that about the detainees. About the detainees, that they take them to military detention centers. They mistreat them, no food, uh, very bad treatment, uh, uh, shouting at them, uh, yelling at them, uh, torturing them. Two Palestinian detainees where they passed away because of what happened, uh, you know, what was happening to them. They didn't get, uh, get medical treatment and they were be really beaten by the Israeli soldiers. And so I guess... The West Bank, no stranger to Israeli raids, of course, but now they've become these nightly occurrences, as you say, with many detentions. What's the impact that it's having on people living in the West Bank? What's it like for people knowing that their neighbourhood could be raided at any moment? To, to be very honest, the uh, Palestinian civilians in, in the West Bank are terrified, they are intimidated, they are afraid, they are very sad, they are disappointed. Uh, in one hand, they hear the Israeli jets and the Israeli uh, airstrikes from West Bank. You know, we hear how they go to bomb the civilians uh, and in Gaza, and we see that uh, catastrophe there. On the other hand, we live in fear. We think there is a, a unannounced uh, war uh, in the West Bank, and there is unannounced displacement policy from the Israeli government. The Israeli right-wing government is trying to use this opportunity to displace Palestinians from Area C, from H2 in Hebrew, and create facts in the ground to annex these areas to, to Israel. So they are acting according to their political extreme attitude against the Palestinians in, in, the, in the West Bank. And this is a proof that the war is not against Hamas. The war is against all the Palestinians. The, the war is against the Palestinian cause. Uh, the war is against the Palestinian uh, rights and it's against uh, peace and against the international community consensus of giving the Palestinians their equal rights. The, really, the situation in the West Bank is very hard. Around 20 communities from Area C left because of the harassment, the settler violence, the army violence in Hebron. There is a lockdown in H2. People are in curfew and many families left their homes and the people are really, you know, afraid about journalists. Uh, I am in many uh, WhatsApp groups of journalists. They are all afraid about their life. They are all intimidated and they are not able to cover uh, uh, the, the situation. And they are journalists. They should be protected. They are not part of anything, but they are afraid. And yesterday night, you know, we saw how the Israeli military raided the houses of two journalists, abducted them and mis mistreated their families and damaged uh, their uh, furniture in, in the houses. It's a kind of collective punishment. It's a kind of uh, really real war in all Palestinian voices, on the media, on human rights defenders, and on the civilians. And it's about that supremacy of the Israelis and, uh, you know, their, their apartheid, their racism. And they want to show power. They want to really dehumanize the Palestinians and treat them as slaves. Issa Amro speaking to us there from Hebron in the West Bank. Thank you.